Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got another cute little elephant parade project for you today. My mom actually came up with the idea for this treat box. There's a really cute die in here. It's the little peanuts. See those? And my mom immediately said, those look like nutter butters. So I thought that would make a great project to go with our little elephant. So these are from my grocery store. They're just snack size Nutter Butters. And we're gonna make this box to fit our little Nutter Butter package perfectly. All right, you're gonna need your Simply Scored and a piece of Flirty Flamingo that is six and a half by eight and three fourths. Let's start on the short side. We're gonna score it at one and five eighths, two and seven eighths, four and a half, and five and three fourths. Then turn it to the long side and score it at one and a fourth, and seven and a half. All right, now grab your bone folder. This is important, an important step. You want your lines to be nice and crisp. So go ahead and give them a good run with your bone folder. Don't skip this step. All right, now here is the skinny tab right here. We're gonna cut off those rectangles and then cut this at an angle, okay? This right here is the long skinny tab we're gonna use to adhere the box together. Now, just cut those score lines on the short side all the way up to that horizontal score line. Right. Now, you can use any adhesive that you prefer. Um, I have my stamp and seal here, so I'm just going to use that right now. I'm going to put that on that long skinny tab, and then I'm going to fold it in half, and it should line up perfectly. We're going to leave one end open and seal one end. They're the same, so just it doesn't matter which one. But what you want to do is where this edge is, that's going to be the back. So turn that up towards you. Fold in the sides first. Put adhesive on that back tab and then adhesive on the front. That's going to give us a nice rounded edge on our front side right here, okay, instead of that flap like that. Now, grab your Nutter Butters and slide them in. Again, fold the sides, the back, and the top. And this time, instead of sealing it, I'm going to take some ribbon. This is our shimmer white ribbon, I believe it's called. The full supply list and those measurements, the score lines and everything will be over on my blog on a free PDF that you can save, you can download it, print it, whatever you want. Just click the link here on YouTube to hop back to my blog. All the measurements are there. All right, so just tie that bow there at the top and that's gonna hold your box together. All right. There we go. Now I have cut a piece of Flirty Flamingo Designer Series paper from the Brights DSP pack. And I'm gonna adhere that right to the front like that. And there's your box. Now to make that cute little elephant. Um, we are gonna stamp him in Memento Black on basic white. Actually, basic white, thick. You wanna use thick white cardstock when you're using your Stampin' Blends. Um, and then we're gonna stamp the sentiment in basic gray. And we can put that right there on the long edge. I'll never forget your kindness. All right, I'm gonna use Smoky Slate Stampin' Blends to color this cutie. And I'm gonna just take my light Smoky Slate and I'm gonna do the bottom part of his body first. These are alcohol markers, which means that they will dry um, somewhat quickly. So you wanna work in small sections if you're going to use some blending. So I've added a dark shadow there. And I'm gonna take my light and blend that down towards the bottom. So it's created kind of an angle of a shadow that his head would create. All right, now his trunk, with a, we're back with a light. 
and be careful around his eyes. And as I move to the middle of his head and the top, I'm gonna kind of go light with my marker because that's where the light would be shining and we want it to be light up here. I'm gonna leave a little bit of white. I'm gonna take my um, Stampin' Color Lifter and blend that color together like that. It'll kind of bleed into each other and look like a nice shine mark on his forehead. All right, now take your light again, do those top parts of his ears like that, and then take your light petal pink and add some color there into his ears and give him some little cheeks like that. All right. Now we're gonna also, we're gonna bring that cut and emboss machine over, but we're gonna cut a few other things too. Remove all of this. Got some dots left from my last project. All right, so now I have, we have the matching die that goes with our little elephant. And I also have this long skinny label die that will cut that out. Now we're gonna cut out some of those peanuts from craft cardstock. And we're gonna cut the grass out of mint macaron. We've got two grass dies. We can do both of those at once. All right, lay your plate on there nice and carefully. Run that through. All right, let's cut out one more row of those cute little peanuts. All right. Now, I have found that the best way to handle those little peanuts is with your take your pick tool. They are pretty tiny, but that little take your pick tool works great. All right, I have cut out a two and a fourth inch vellum circle, and we're gonna start with our little elephant, put her right there, and then I'm gonna take some Tombow glue and Add a little bit of glue behind or on the back of that grass and slide it kind of behind her or him. And then we'll do the same over here. All right, now I wanted it to kind of look like she was juggling those peanuts. So I'm gonna put six dots like that. And we'll bring those peanuts over. And with your take your pick tool, just set them down into that glue like that. Now the little peanuts are actually embossed as well. They have some texture on them. So not only does the die cut them out, but it embosses the texture. Okay, now last but not least, we're gonna add them to our box. So grab your dimensionals again and Put your circle right there. Dimensionals go behind your little elephant. And then I'll put two dimensionals like this and take our long skinny sentiment and put it right underneath. And there you have it. A great little, just a thinking of you treat. Um, you could always use these too as, you know, a party favor, maybe for a baby shower. Um, I like that sentiment a lot. I think it could be used for lots of things. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog, check out my other two Elephant Parade projects, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.